It was a long night on Capitol Hill. You could even call it a gunfight. The shootout was not with guns. Rather, it was about guns. Senate Democrats filibustered until 2.15 in the morning, hoping to use anger over the Orlando shootings to stir action on gun law changes. Lauren St. Germain tells us what the Democrats are fighting for and how local leaders from both sides are responding. Lauren. Senator Chris Murphy from Connecticut started the filibuster yesterday morning and it went for 14 hours and 50 minutes. Senator Murphy says he was motivated by the lack of gun reform since the massacre at Sandy Hook. After more than 14 hours, this tweet from Senator Chris Murphy. The Senate will be voting on gun control legislation. I really don't see what the controversy is. Terry Lee is the head of the Hamilton County Democratic Party. I think it's common sense that everybody that's, that has a gun should be a sound mind and, and should uh, should not be on no-fly list. I mean, that's that just seems so much common sense to me. The head of the Hamilton County GOP says it's not a good idea to mix grief and outrage with public policy. I was sick in Sunday morning when I saw that. Just like I was sick and when it happened here uh, in Chattanooga last year. But it's not a gun issue. It's an issue that we've got to get a hold of from stopping the terrorists from coming to the country. I think it's long overdue. Uh, some people may think it's an emotional response, but we've gone through so many terrible tragedies over, over the last, especially the last 10 years, that this is something that should have been done much before this, this time. Democrats expect an eventual vote on a bill to require universal background checks and keep suspected terrorists from buying guns. This should not be a partisan issue. This is about protecting people. Uh, it shouldn't be Democratic or Republican issue. But Republicans doubt such rule changes will even work. The only way that you could stop the problem is if you could confiscate all the guns. There's hundreds of millions of guns. Nobody knows where they're all at. There's no way you're ever going to be able to get those off the streets. Not to mention the fact that our Constitution won't allow it. The gunman in the July 16th shootings was never on a watch list or a no-fly list. The gunman in the Orlando shooting was on an FBI terror watch list at one point, but he was able to legally buy weapons. Latricia. Lauren, thank you. We also received a statement from Senator Bob Corker's office late this afternoon. In that statement, Corker seems to be looking for balance. He says, quote, terrorists should not be allowed to obtain firearms and we must protect the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. He will only support legislation that meets that.